spirit. Yes, then you'll understand, even though you wake up with a headache in the morning, this, this morning, it's like, I gotta stay home because I just cannot make it today. That you'll put your clothes on with your headache and bring you and your headache over to the house of God because you know something good yeah. is about to happen to you. Come on, somebody. Yeah.
for the last three weeks. Right. right. You can't let go on the next four weeks. <laughs> if you do that, then you just allow the enemy to win. Amen. And know they're going to feel sorry for it. That's right. I said, why don't you feel sorry about me? I, okay, I'm not going to feel sorry about me. <laughs> <laughs> if I got to do the word, you got to do the word. If I got to trust the word, you got to trust the word. If I got to trust God, you got to trust God. You're in the same word. And, and so what Daniel got the words from the angel that came. That's right. And... <laughs> Three weeks later, rose up the words. <clears throat> but he continued faith and fasting and praying. You continue on doing what you're going through, continue doing what you know God wants you to do. Don't stop. That's right. The only thing he's doing is challenging your prayer. That's right. That's right. It's challenging you. That's right. You know, they, they call them, the day they call them bullets. He bullied you. I want to see if you're going to believe what he said. I want to see how much, just how much you can take. You want to know just how much word you believe. You want to just know just how long you can stay. He's bullying you. And God is testing you. But you can expect God to give you the answer. You can expect good things from him. And so you have to understand. The devil did not really do what he wanted to. He said, why? Because you're here today. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Well, I didn't really want to come. I had to. Oh, you here? Because he was able for you not to be here. Come on now. Come on now. 
And it took God six days to make everything. That's right. Six days. And on the Sabbath, he said, I'm going to sit down with you. Then he said, I'm going to sit down and look at my glory. That's right. Come on, Pastor. The devil ain't sitting down. He can't afford to. He has not an authority. Because he's afraid you're going to trust God. Somehow, 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 no. He, he, he really didn't want you to go to church because in the house of God, I, I hear the, a message on, on YouTube, wherever you get it, whatever. He didn't want you to hear that because he was afraid your yeah. spirit man was going to wake up. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. He said, wake up, you know, what are you doing sitting down? It's like I ain't nobody when God yeah. is on my side. He didn't do what he wanted to. So you listen, you can tell yourself that. And you can tell yourself that and me and, and know that it's true. Because you are alive, you are here today. I don't care what's, what's going on in your body, he still is not doing what he wanna do. He didn't want you just to get sick. He didn't want, want Job just to get sick. He wanted to take Job out. He took his trimming out. He took his money out, but he couldn't take Job out. But he couldn't touch Job's soul. Why? Because God said, that's mine. That's mine. You can't touch that. That's right. I remember going by. This car was, I was in Billington one day, and it was a white car, and on the bottom of that white car, at the very bottom of it, with this panel B. It said, now see, y'all think I got get this from Bob. MC Hammer. MC Hammer. <laughs> but I got it from that car. That car was so clean. Looked so good. All right. He had him there. Can't touch this. <laughs> <laughs> you better go ahead. <laughs> I want this bump my horn and say. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. Except a prayer. Come on, on now. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. 